Hi, I'm Owen Wilson, and I am playing Jack in Secret Headquarters, a.k.a. The Guard. The Guard is me, and it's kind of my alter ego. I'm a kind of unassuming um, IT guy, dad, and when I put on this kind of uh, superhero suit, I turn into The Guard, and I'm responsible for... Um, protecting humanity. The thing that I sort of responded to is when I read the script and kind of the story and it really feeling like one of those stories that uh, might have been a movie that I saw as a kid that just seemed like a great idea of sort of a disconnect between you and your son and, and he thinking you're just not quite available and then coming to find out that whoa dad um, dad's been up to some um, heroic deeds. The source is kind of my alien um, superpower. It's what kind of builds the secret headquarters and my super suit. His mom's been after me to just tell him, you know, why you're not around because she knows the secret, but I don't want to burden him with this, you know, kind of pressure and uh, worry. And so I've been reluctant to say anything until uh, I kind of get called away on his birthday. And he's so frustrated, he has some friends over um, to kind of uh, have a rager at my house. And in having that rager, they stumble across the secret headquarters beneath the house. Like any kid, uh, hearing that your dad is a superhero is, um, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be uh, easy for them to believe. Maybe when they were really little, but uh, not for a teenager. And he's, you know, 14 and so, um, I mean, that would be a, you know, that would blow your mind. Momo, you know, I'm just kind of beginning the stuff now with the kids, but, um, you know, right when I kind of showed up and kind of saw who they'd cast for all the kids, it's like, okay, yeah, that's what I kind of imagined in my mind when I was reading the script. And uh, she just has a quality where it's easy to see why Charlie has a crush on her. Keith is burger is, uh, you know, aside from being really funny, I think he kind of brings a lot of heart to the role, and it's just a, a, a great character, and that's kind of what I liked when I read the script, is that it felt like you've got this group of friends, kind of, you know, they're not the most popular kids, uh, but they're not misfits either, and uh, it's just very relatable, I think, to, you know, kind of being in school, and so the way that they kind of, you know, talk back and forth, I, I, I thought that felt, you know, really genuine. And I think that's what the movie kind of rests on, is that relationship with the kids. Argon is, I guess you'd have to say he's kind of the villain. And, um, you know, it's funny thinking about villains, um, you know, at least with Argon, are kind of these uh, tech billionaires. <laughs> and uh, so Argon is uh, maybe inspired by, you know, one of these tech billionaires, but, uh, evil. Irons is uh, the Air Force uh, captain who crashes with the UFO in the beginning of the movie and who I meet and he's the one that's you know made that sort of his life mission is kind of finding the source and figuring that out and so there's a little bit of uh, you know bitterness and hard feeling on his part that uh, that he's not the guard. Of course you know when you kind of walk on to a set like that and that's such a big part of uh, the guard's life and uh, where he spends his time, you want to have it feel like something really cool. The thing that kind of gives the guard his superpower is when he puts on that suit and he's able, he's got the jetpack where he's able to fly and also uh, the force fields that he's able to create and the gadgets that he has. And I think it's gonna be a exciting superhero. I mean, there's a lot of superheroes out there, so uh, the guard has to have some stuff that makes him stand apart. I haven't worked with many directing pairs, a couple times with brothers that have directed, uh, but this is the first time just two friends uh, directing together, so I was kind of interested to see how they work and who says action and who talks to the actors, but they seem 
to work very kind of, uh, it's not like one sort of is delineated to sort of, you know, worrying about the camera and the other guy does the uh, talking with the actors. They both sort of, um, you know, work on, you know, every part of it and seem very comfortable, um, you know, um, sharing that burden of directing. Right when I first read the script and I really, you know, I thought it was a great story and I spoke with Henry and Rel and just kind of hearing their ideas and then also on set uh, them kind of throwing out ideas and it's a very kind of, um, you know, not an uptight, uh, you know, way of working it's you you feel free to kind of try different things and uh and i think that's what we've done obviously i hope people love the movie and what i hope they take away is the same thing i had when i read the script was thinking this is a great adventure and that these kids are kids that you kind of like to see in their friendships and uh it has kind of laughs and heart and some uh cool action